tell yourself that for the next session you're going to be staying with the breath. And then see if you listen to yourself. Part of the mind will actually do it, and another part of the mind, or maybe other parts of the mind, will want to do something else. So you have to be careful. You have to watch over what your mind is doing. This is a really important skill. You've got to keep watch over the mind. If you see it's moving in an unskillful direction, you bring it back. It's like looking after, looking after a baby child. You see it's going to get into danger, and so you've got to keep after it. And then you get distracted by something else, and then you look back, and then within a minute the, the child is off getting into danger again. So this ability to watch your own mind is really important and have a good sense of where you want it to be and where you don't want it to be. So right now you want to be with the breath. Anything else is going to be a distraction. You don't even have to listen to the Dharma talk. Just focus on the breath. Get the mind to settle down, because the mind needs a place to settle. Otherwise it's just looking for a place. Every, try, every place, other place it tries to sit down, either the chair breaks or there's something in the chair that makes it uncomfortable. In other words, the thoughts you start thinking about at first they look good, but then when you actually get into them you find that either they don't last or else they turn into something that's not so good. So you want a good, reliable place to stay. This is how you protect yourself. All too many people talk about protection as you know, protection from terrorists outside. Well, it's the terrorists inside our mind. It's the greed, aversion, and delusion. Those are the things we really got to watch out for. And this quality of mindfulness and alertness that we're developing as we meditate, okay, these are our protectors. Those along with the sense of what they call shame and compunction. In other words, you see something that's really beneath you and you really would feel ashamed to do it, so you drop it. Compunction is when you realize that your actions have consequences and you want to make sure they don't do anything unskillful. These qualities, when they work together, can okay, keep you protected on all sides, particularly on the inside, which is where the major dangers are. So that when your mind tells itself, okay, you want to stay right here, it'll listen to you, it'll obey you. We're all too concerned about other people listening to us and obeying us, but actually if we can't obey ourselves, we've got a lot of problems. So this is where you have to focus first. <laughs>